Hello everyone and welcome to the stream! I'm Vikova, you can call me V, and today I am going to be playing more Deus Ex! This just really excellent game that I thought I was just gonna kind of try a little bit of, um, and I just continue to play and continue to love. Uh, hello and welcome to Rowan and the Ninetale system and Talon and Dave, it is lovely to have you here today. Okay, so we're in the middle of the second mission. But we're not really doing a lot of second missioning right now. Because we're supposed to, like, our, our main objective is to go to, like, the hotel uh, and get people out, I think. But instead, I've been doing side quests. And the side quests are just fantastic. Uh, Dave says it's been wonderful seeing you find your enjoyment from this game. It's so fun. It's so fun. I can't believe I never played it. Uh, Tarana says, you seem to be making a habit of just trying a selection of the best games ever made. I guess? I get recommended a lot of cool games, or I, or I stumble across them, or both. Uh, I'm very fortunate that way. I'm gonna have a look at my goals. Everyone, everyone hang on. Because we, we all know there's gonna be like a brief pause. Well, ooh, it did it right away. Contrary. So, our primary goal is to find the NSF's secret generator. Paul's team will raid the warehouse when the generator is destroyed and the EMP field goes down. Our secondary goal is to investigate the hostage situation in the Ton Hotel at the southeast corner of the block. Rescue the Rentins if they are still inside. So I guess we should do secondary goal first because I don't want this mission to this level to end. Uh, we, oh, we can go back to the smuggler because we got his friend out of what I am certain is Unatko's secret uh, hideout where they were experimenting on people. Frog Detectives is Rowan. Tyrannus is Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds is without a doubt one of the best games ever made. I, by anyone's metric, it's so good. Uh, Frog Detective should be talked about more. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Frog Detective. Um, uh, Tarana, when you recommended me uh, I think, was it Duck Detective? Joe wondered if it was um, a frog made by the same people as Frog Detective, and I categorically said no. And Joe's like, how are you so sure? And I had to explain that, of course, I am subscribed to the Frog Detective newsletter. Um, <laughs> I will be getting any Frog Detective news as soon as it is available. Uh, okay, so the smuggler is here. Oh, I need to cough. Hang on. Ooh, thank you, mute button. Oh. Tarana says, that's right. Standard RPG rule of go every direction except the right one. Right one applies. Good, good, good. Okay, so we're doing this the right way around then. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. Thank you, smuggler. Uh, let's bring this back up. Yeah, there it comes. Out, Out of Wilds is a game that I think everyone should play. It, it is just, it's a work of art. Frog Detective is a game that I think was made specifically for me to give me joy. Um, <laughs> and I will be forever be grateful to them for that. All right, so this is all, all the traps are still disabled. Let's not hurt the rat. Gotta be careful not to hurt any rats. Hi! I got your friend out. Ford, is he all right? Fine. You were right about those troops. Definitely not NSF. They're definitely They're the UNACO, come on. They capture oh. people and use them for medical experiments. I wouldn't go that far. You said you'd make it worth my while. I Since you helped Ford, I'll cut you a deal. I I'll bet give you a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 700 credits. A bioelectric cell for 250, or some light amplification goggles for 1125. I bet I cannot afford... I've already bought the bioelectric cells. Why would I want the scope? Uh... Sorry. Not interested. Well, you know what? No problem. Alright, well, we came back. 
Anyway. What a time. Tarana says the scope wouldn't help your playstyle, I don't think. Yeah, I did. I did wonder if that was the case. Uh... Why was it up there? Well, anyway, up we go. My playstyle of hitting people with a stick, or occasionally shooting them with a dart and then running away very quickly. It's a very sophisticated playstyle. Plus. Okay, so then we want to go to the southeast to deal with the hotel. I think we followed up all the other leads. So this is the hotel. All right, no one's here fighting, so we can go you ahead. Take it from here. No, 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 you, you will not be taking it from here. I'm here to take it from here. All right, is there anything else I can smash? <laughs> Bioelectric cell. Ugh! Flies. Okay. Osgood and Sons Imports. But it looks like I can go in there. I can. Interesting. I haven't really been around this area. Bodies. Is this the other side of where there was like lots of gunfire? I think it is. Everyone now appears to be dead. Trank dot. Most of this ammo is not stuff I need. I should probably start dropping it all. Uh, since I can't sell it. Did I do this? Yeah. Okay, no room in my inventory to pick the sword off shotgun. That's fine. Ew, flies! Okay. This is the free clinic. Well, there's obviously something to do there, but this is not where I'm going right now. We're gonna go ahead and head back. Hello, Annie! Welcome! Hello, Calmly! Lovely to have you here today. Annie says you need a scope for your stick. I don't know what you mean. How else are you gonna know what to hit? Uh, I'm just- I'm just not thinking straight, clearly. Tay says that was the napping park. Yeah, they were all just asleep. Ignore the brackets that say dead on everybody. Tyrannus says the ammo doesn't take up inventory space. Ooh. Zan, hello! Welcome! Alright. I don't think we should hold back in a situation like this. Yeah, none of you do. All of you are obsessed with killing. You're bad people, and I'm sorry I'm working with you. Oh, it's called the Ton, because the hill is all is all unlit. Is there another way in? I don't really like going in the front. Oh, whatever. You What's your business me? here, Agent? Just going up to my brother's room. Yeah, just going up to my uh, brother's room. Off. The NSF retreated in there about half an hour ago, and they've taken hostages. We're waiting on a specialist. Me, I'm the specialist. I'm specialist. Oh, just tell me where the hostages are being held. Sarah always says no things so differently to me. Way, but you'll have to go in alone. Our orders are to hold the perimeter. We think the terrorists are on the second floor. Second Carry on, Corporal. Floor. Agent. I can do whatever. Let me in. There must be another way in. I can't just walk in the front door, surely. There's always another way in. I'm gonna have a look. I'm just gonna have a little, a little peeksy. You see any like holes? Any secret holes? Huh. What about Ruth? There was some talk of like going the rooftop way before, wasn't there? How do I how do I go the rooftop way? It feels like it's gotta be this ladder, right? Like right? Does I actually go anywhere? There's like a wind there's like a window I can get to from up here. I gotta get up! Sam says B is for Vondra D, so I had to be here today. <laughs> 
Day says three hours later, V checking how many boxes it takes to stack up to the first floor windows. Uh, good point, Dave. Let's go get some boxes. Can I jump on you? No. Can I jump on you? No. I need a box I can jump on. It's okay, we've got this, everyone. Dave says it was not a hint. I didn't think it was intended as a hint, but I'm taking it as a hint. We'll have to get the city out here to clean up the mess. Aha, a smaller box. I wish I could increase my jump skill. Ha ha! This is mine now. I'm using this for specialist purposes. Don't follow me. <clears throat> San says, can you use your burly arms to pick up the big thing? Oh, I definitely can, but I can't jump onto it. Sarah is is not very jumpy. I'm wondering if Sarah's like unusually heavy. Because like she just she just like squishes rats instantly maybe that's why she can't jump as well you know i'm pretty heavy and i can't jump all right here we go <laughs> yes thank you for the non-hint dave <laughs> Now we're thinking with boxes. Oh, I should probably. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Am I not allowed to be here? It's not letting me up the stairs. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Nobody panic. I know we were all panicking just as much as me in that moment, but it's all fine. Let's save it. Okay, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in. Rowan says she needs the springy legs enhancement. Oh my gosh, if the springy legs enhancement, that would be so good! Oh, that would be wonderful. Okay, how many charges do I have? <sighs> you get like three or four clips, so I've got quite a lot of these. I only have two multi-tools. How many darts do I have? Because if I can hide... Three, three, I've got nine darts. If I can hide, I'll eventually knock people out with my darts. And then there's the good old baton, which is basic. By good old, I mean... I mean bad. I mean bad. Uh, but we can try that if we have to. I got 21 zaps? That's gotta be enough. Ooh, skill points. Oh, there's a loading screen. Table lamp. I wanna throw it, but I think I shouldn't. I'm in a room. I'm in a room! Sorry, I'm a little silly today. I, I've been kind of ill today. Ooh, credit shit? 350 credits! Woohoo! I feel kind of bad that I've just taken this from whoever's room this is, but... Alright. Oh. 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 A med kit. A shower. Mira! It's me! Sarah! Okay. CIA Factbook 2050 Hong Kong, Economic Overview. In the decades since Hong Kong has been returned to Chinese control, it has seen its economy thrive under the newly resurgent authority of the Chinese central government. Led by a thriving technological market and human augmentation technology, the real GDP has peaked every year since 2041, with all forecasting models predicting that this trend will continue well into the next decade, if not beyond. However, the statistics do not present an entirely accurate depiction of the state of the Hong Kong economy, as they fail to depict the flourishing grey and black market that operates with at least the tacit approval of the Beijing regime. While political oppression continues to present a major and ongoing problem to those living under Chinese rule, entrepreneurism is alive and well in the form of organised crime. As has always been the case, anything and everything that can be had for a price can be had for a price in Hong Kong. Many of these criminal organizations can trace their lineage directly to the triads that have existed for thousands of years throughout China and Southeast Asia. Okie dokie. Woohoo! Zan says as if being si uh, a little silly is a bad thing. I am very lucky with people who come to my streams. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anyone in here. Also, my brother's room- hang on. Let me go back in here. Because my my brother's room is somewhere in here. I don't remember where it said. 
Dave says I thought V was about to play peekaboo with themselves in the mirror there. I mean... Let's just say that it, it would not have been the first time if I had. Um, <laughs> peekaboo with yourself in a mirror in a video game is very fun. In real life, though, it's scary. Um, <laughs> oh, I wish I was joking. Okay. Uh, let's see. Paul's apartment is on the second floor. Which, this is like American floor, so I think we're on the second floor. Um, with the apartment with a white door. The keypad for the secret closet is behind the painting. Let's just check there, it wasn't this room. No painting. Hang on, I didn't open this though. Oh ho. No? Not oh ho. Okay, well. Uh, Kobe says, actually, that's a point. Do you prefer themselves or themselves, or do you not have a preference? I prefer themselves in the sense that I am a singular person, but I think that the use of they them pronouns is kind of a little wishy washy, and I don't really mind. I would write themselves, but I wouldn't be upset if someone wrote themselves. And Nine says, mirrors are just not fun in general when you're dealing with dysphoria. The truth. Also, reflections are scary. Dave says, I have a whole wall of mirrors in the bedroom and Frankie regularly startles himself in the morning when he wakes up and tries to fight it. Frankie has so much in common with me. I had no idea. It's very fortunate I do not wake up and look at a mirror. <laughs> I, would, I would be frightened every time. It would probably also contribute to the, like, I have, like, I want to say, like, I call them like night terrors. I don't know if that's accurate. It's like sleep paralysis demons, but without the paralysis. So I scream a lot. Um, I see stuff in the room. A mirror would not help with that. <laughs> Hello, Neo Marcos. Neo Marcos says reflections are scary. Yes, there's just a person looking at you. Ooh, yikes. Uh, Tula says morning. Good morning. It's lovely for you to be here. Like, I'm just a very jumpy person. <laughs> um, and I don't look at my reflection a lot because I, I do get... I have b both a bit of body dysmorphia and I have dysphoria, so... Data Cube! Quick note, if you need any help with work, check the painting on the wall and count back from four. Paul, you, you gotta not leave out all of these around. Come on, bud. This news full, a brief history of the Indian crisis. After the bombing, Indian officials issued a series of stern warnings to Pakistan that were rebuffed with denials of responsibility and dire threats that any attempt to use the bombings as a pretext for military action would be met with force in kind. From the viewpoint of the present day historiographer, this was a crucial event, a game of brinksmanship that had been played between Pakistan and India many, many times before. And so while tragic, it is also easily understood how clear signs of the impending catastrophe might have been ignored. Like two kids shoving each other on the playground, said historian Alistair Brooks. You never expect them to come to blows. That was before Pakistan began the trials of the Calcutta I-6, and both nations descended into a maelstrom- Oh, I just heard a voice. Descended into a maelstrom of political upheaval that would eventually culminate in the exchange of nuclear warheads. Oh, things just are awful everywhere in right now. Oh, I need to stop pushing things. Oh, yeah, the terrorist keeps clearing their throat. Hello. Count backwards from four. That is so insecure. That is so insecure. Armor. Medkit. Data cube. Hey, Sarah. Yes. Uh, didn't have a chance to get you on your own net account, so feel free to use mine in the meantime. Login is P Denton and password is Chameleon. Guess this beats starving back home. Oh my gosh, close it, close it, close it. Uh, make yourself at home and I'll see you soon. Paul is the only person who's nice to us and everyone treats him like garbage, lockpick. Lockpick. Oh. Uh, ammo, ammo. Oh, they're like right here, huh? I can't see. Paul, why is your room so dark? Can you, can you see? 
personal computer terminal. P Denton. Sooner or later. Wait, what was the password? Us. Chameleon. Why would you just want me to just log into your email? Sweet charity, miss you. I left a message on your machine but wanted to follow up. With both of us traveling, it's hard to get together, isn't it? I miss you so much. I'll make it up to you when I get back. Oh wait, your brother's staying with you, isn't he? Well, just wait until you're alone. We'll work things out, promise. Mm. Just gonna read my brother's email right now, I guess. Days as poor as the night vision eyes. Yeah, but it costs magic. Um, tired of life is spam. Hello, friend. Has life become too impersonal, too tedious, too painful for you? This is awful spam. Then now is the time to exert control, to make that decision which is ultimately the only real choice we ever have, the decision to die. This is awful. Okay, content warning, everyone. While well, I read this particular email for, like, suicide, I guess. Some may describe this as an act of selfishness, but with the dwindling reserves of natural resources throughout the world, you're actually contributing to the well-being of all those around you. A recent bill passed by the United States Congress even authorizes a one-time payment of 10,000 credits to your chosen benefactor upon passing away. So do yourself, your family, and your friends a favor and visit any one of the Kavork Inc. clinics in a neighborhood near you. We'll help you make a difference quickly and quietly. That is so awful! Oh my god. No! <laughs> no! These are guys are like machines. This is one of the worst ones. What they are. Jay Reyes. Hey, Sarah. Thought I'd help you unload your boxes, but I'm tied down trying to get one of the medical analyzers working. Damn thing nearly lays it off one of my fingers. Catch you later for a beer, maybe? Tiny. Network administrator. Your results, your results did not reach the following anticipant. Messages as follows. I'm definitely worried about the test results. There are some implications there that I'm afraid to pursue too much further. I'll talk to Trace and proceed with caution. Ooh, what, what test results? Paul, what are you into? I bet Paul's doing something good. Paul seems like the most good person we've <laughs> encountered in this game. Except perhaps the people who've been stealing um, a, a cure for the plague and distributing it to the people, uh, which we are technically against right now. Rowan says the government pay, especially the government paying people to commit suicide. Why? Absolutely so awful. Um, Tarana says, War Inspector, lead designer, famously said in an interview about this game that it's set about five minutes before the end of the world. Oof. It feels like it. Oh yes, Tula, it is now over. It is now over, sorry. Uh, okay. Classic movies. Mr. Denton, we've received your order for Blue Harvest and see you next Wednesday. At your earliest possible convenience, please remit 110 credits, at which point they will be shipped immediately. Thanks for your business, Marcy Playground Vibrant Videos. So Paul has a girlfriend, secret girlfriend, the government is paying people to kill themselves. Um, huh. And Paul is involved with some kind of strange test results. I Yeah, this is all very interesting. Uh... Multi-tool! Yes. More stuff, please. This room is very small. I'm glad nobody can hear this happening. Another multi-tool, bioelectric cell. Okay, I think we got it all. Um, his apartment has a white door. That's where we came in. Huh? This is just a closet. Is 
So this is his apartment. I think that's why no one's in here. Well, he's a bunch of soda we can steal. Thanks for the soda pool! I can't care anymore. Aww. I guess I should probably close this again just because it's like secret. Yeah. No one will ever know. <sighs> Dave says maybe it's not sinister, maybe Paul has an STD. I mean, it's completely possible, but it's definitely sinister. We all know it. Um. Okay. White door. What? It's locked? Oh, they gave me all the lockpicks so I can... Is there not a secret way out? I don't want to have to spend lockpicks. I just got them. And I'm very happy about them. It doesn't feel like there's any other way for me to go, though. Uh, hmm. How many? It'll take three picks. Ooh, the door's not very strong, though. Hmm. Let me get my lockpicks out. Also, maybe I'll eat some food to increase my health. Nobody panic! I'm just loading my inventory, which as we know is, is a Herculean task. But we, we believe in the game. As long as I don't touch anything, it will eventually do it. Right? Ooh. Aha! What do you give me? Nothing. <laughs> uh, you give me nothing. What about a candy bar? No. Well, none of this is gonna help me. Choco Lent Dream. It's chocolate. It's people. It's both. What? 85% recycled material? Uh oh. These are just, none of these are, th I think I just use these kind of as currency, but I'll eat one. Um, let's see, where's my lockpicks? There's my lockpicks. I have eight, I have eight lockpicks. Okay, that's not so bad. Get rid of the chocolate bars. Sans says, mmm, Soylent, yep, yep. Oh, Toronto says they give you one or two health points back? Excellent. That's good then. So I did help myself a little. Uh, I can hear a rat. One, two. Huh? Two. Three. Okay. Bellevue reports increase in admittance, New World Press, New York. Bellevue hospitals reported a 50% increase in the number of patients admitted over the last three months, compared to this same period last year. A disturbing trend, says Dr. James Ka Cabell, and one that's stressing our personnel- I ain't ready for this. And one that's stressing our personnel to the limits. Many of those admitted are homeless that the police can't or won't deal with. Some of them afflicted with the Grey Death. We simply don't have the facilities to deal with those cases and most of the hospitals refuse to accept them. Many have linked the outbreak of mental illness to the recent rise in recreational <sighs> drug use. In particular, the new designer drug Zyme. I have a buy a vial of that. Speaking on condition of anonymity, one public official said that Zyme has simply become a threat to the public welfare. There have already been discussions with Washington on a zero tolerance solution. Because zero tolerance is always so helpful. Others have suggested chemical contamination could be the culprit, citing the recent chlorine spill that has rendered the East River almost lifeless. Okay. Oh. Now, do you turn around? Oh, there's one right in the doorway as well. Wow, they're all just sort of right here. <laughs> Is that a hostage? That's a hostage. 
I don't like these flashy lights. I don't like these flashing lights. Ew, 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 flashing lights warning. Uh, ugh, ow, I, I can't look at that. I... <sighs> mm-hmm, yep, I feel good about this. Help! <sighs> Why? Lady! Four. Oh my god! Oh, that guy's dead. Was he... Was there already a dead guy there? I don't think there was. <clears throat> Help! You did this! You did this! I'm loading. Thomas, is you okay, V? I, I don't like flashing lights. They make me feel kind of ill. Um, I'm just gonna reload... Now it might be more, it might be useful or necessary to my strategy to go down that that uh flashing lights a hellhole, but uh we'll see. Ugh. Dave says maybe night vision eyes would help with the lights. I don't know. They're not night vision eyes though, it's just a torch. Maybe it would help. No, nine. There was not a dead body there. Okay, I don't know how to get these guys without that lady getting everyone killed. Uh, let's try eyes. Helps a little, actually. Is that a ladder? Yes. Oh, multi-tool. Yes! Ooh, bioelectric cell. The good stuff. Okay. This is another floor that we were not on, is that right? No, this is the floor we were on, so let's go up a floor. Tool. I guess that was probably worth it. Let's see if I can get on without dying. <sighs> okay. This, the flashing light. They, they're awful. They shouldn't be allowed. Wait, 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 wait. This is a different floor. I missed a floor. Okay, okay. Neo says so mean to the boxes. Have a vendetta. Um, Annie says, Wow, the characters are skilled at climbing ladders as me. More skilled than me. <laughs> oh, little robot. Little rats. Oops. So this must be like the front entrance, right? Uh, hello? You better get out of here, Mr. Renton. Terrorists have taken cover inside the hotel. Ah, can't leave the desk unattended. You'll be caught in the crossfire. I have to order you to leave the building. Yes, of course. I'll close up in a second. Oh, he's not going anywhere, is he? Hotel Register, Gully Foil, New York. Gabriel Syme, London, England. Paul Denton, New York. Oberst Enzian, Sudvest, su su <clears throat> Africa. Smilla Jasperson, Copenhagen, Denmark. Hippolyta Hall, Los Angeles. Hey, can I go in there and throw stuff? Fascist. Oh! Oh, oh, oh 
Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see why you didn't leave. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you got me. Oh no, I have to do the ladders again. All right, out we go. go up oh, no, no, on the ladder and then we go up one there's a multi-tool if we go down two all the way down then there's more multi-tools uh. okay we'll give that a save then, if we go up just one, we're on a new level. <sighs> Terrorist size. All right, there we go. There's the... <laughs> Take him out. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, oh, oh. Okay. Hi, do you want to leave? You all right, Mr. Renton? Fine, be careful though. They've got more hostages up on the second floor. I'll check it out. By the way, I saw your daughter down the street. She didn't look so good. Sandra? Was she coming back to the hotel? I took care of a thug who was harassing her, but she's still mixed up in some pretty nasty business. You better talk to her. No. No more talking. If you see her, tell her I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home. No questions, no speeches. Good. I'll tell her she can trust you. I should go tell her that, for sure. Okay, cool. Ooh! There I'm gonna heal those guys. I knew they were NSF from the body armor. I'm gonna heal myself completely via water cooler. I'm hoping my arm goes more green if I just keep They're drinking. Scared. That's why they took hostages. Keep drinking. Oh, it's out. <laughs> Whoops. All right, what else we got here? Credit chit. Thank you. The Man Who Was Thursday by G.K. Chesterton. First of all, what is it really all about? What is it you object to? You want to abolish government? To abolish God, said Gregory, opening the eyes of a fanatic. We do not only want to upset a few despotisms and police regulations. That sort of anarchism does exist. But it is a mere branch of the non-conformists. We dig deeper and we blow you higher. We wish to deny all those arbitrary distinctions of vice and virtue, honour and treachery, upon which mere rebels base themselves. The silly sentimentalists of the French Revolution talked of the rights of man. We hate rights as we hate wrongs. We have abolished right and wrong. And right and left, said Syme with a simple eagerness. I hope you will abolish them too. They are much more troublesome to me. Interesting. <laughs> Bellevue reports increase in admittance. Bellevue hospitals reported a 50% increase in the number of patients. We read that. And it, no wonder why, huh? Nano Key? Ton Hotel North Room Key. Okay, that's probably going to be really useful. Okay. Yeet! Okay. Little plus. Little, little savoroo. Maybe we should just keep out of the way until this blows over. Yes, I think you should. So the North Hotel room's over this away. It's probably up there. But let's just check that nobody's hiding like a... I don't know, a multi-tool or something around here. Doesn't look like it. Washing wet floor. If I remove that, does someone fall in and knock themselves out like in Hitman? I love Hitman. 
Uh... <sighs> I wonder who might be there. Oh, is this around the back of the lady and the... <sighs> She's looking at me. That's an issue. Help! No! Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. You didn't see anything. You probably imagined it. Ugh. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry, everyone. The flashing lights return. I'm just gonna go up. Whoa! I'm just gonna go up. And then I land. And then I sneak. Ammo too. Good. I guess this beats starving back home. I don't see a body there. <laughs> what? How? 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 I was completely silent. Is, are they scripted to kill them? Can I not do this safely? I gotta save them. Sans is Hitman's fun for the exact same sneak around without getting caught reasons. Hitman's an absolute blast. I love those games. They they manage to be so sleek and so silly at the same time. Okay. Well, we're not going to go up the stairs. Am I going to get these guys? Because I can shoot him in the head with a crossbow bolt, but it's going to take him forever to actually fall unconscious. If I can't sneak up to them. Hello, Tefarax! Happy Friday! But I don't really know what I'm gonna, you know, do. Alright. Palmy says, I tried Hitman once. I found it too difficult and gave up. I, that's completely valid. Uh, I play on a normal difficulty, but I try always to get Silent Assassin. So, uh, I don't kill anybody except the target, and I want to have no sign that I've been there and never be seen. And I have a great old time with it. <laughs> Daisy's Hitman is wild in the speedrun scene. Oh, I should look that up. I bet it is. Tefrax says, I would have been here 15 minutes ago, but Poppy asked unprompted to play Shell Game while I was making tea. Oh, Poppy! Aww. Tarana says, I'm an unashamed easy mode player. I play so many games on easy mode. I'm totally with you. All games should have an easy mode. Hitman, I don't play on easy mode, but I don't play it on the highest difficulty. I just set my own boundaries for myself. All right, let's see. Tula says, I played some Hitman games and they're good kind of stealth. I'm like, Alien Isolation, that was way too scary. I watched someone else play that and I'm with you. It does seem very scary. I feel like they're scripted to notice me. I'll go really fast. Help! Look, no, he sh they do! Oh, well, that, hey! That's enough of that. Oh, this guy's still alive. Watch out, they've got guns. Yes, I... Wait. What's all the noise? There's a bunch of noise coming from this door. Uh, Tyrannus says, may I offer a suggestion for future? Yes. Someone's saying zip, zip, zip. Thanks for taking care of those guys. You from the police? You Natco. Yeah? Well, you might be interested. I heard them talking. They said something about it, how they had just put in a generator in a warehouse a few streets south of here. Yeah. Did you catch the name of the street? No, but they were talking about their security setup. Anything interesting? It sounded like there was underground access. They're using the word righteous as some kind of password. Righteous. That's very helpful. Thanks. Hey, you. Thanks. Okay. Ammo. Ammo. Data 
a cube! Rat, be careful. Rat? From New York First Federal National Bank to John Palmer. Thank you for choosing NYFF. We're excited about your business and the trust you've shown by placing your valuable assets in our care. NYFF has one of the most secure banking infrastructures in the United States, an impregnable vault that protects you 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. A complete list of our security protocols and procedures is always available for your perusal at nyff slash slash nynet dot 3.45.23.88. And we welcome any questions or comments you might have. At NYFF, we're not just protecting you for today, but also against tomorrow. Your new account number is 543654 and the PIN number is 5544. For your protection, we recommend that you do not share this information with anyone and wipe this data cube after committing it to memory. And welcome to NYFF. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't- I'm not gonna steal this guy's money. Um... I, I'm tr gonna try not to steal too much money from people I don't know. Auto run is on by default when you're sneaking even when crouched. Try holding shift to move slowly. Ooh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, shift to move slowly. <laughs> Turn says I love how V slipped into market a voice halfway through that. I couldn't help it, it was too fun. <laughs> Neo says someone forgot to mark it, absolutely. Well, and we didn't wipe it either, even though we're not gonna steal that money. Uh, oh, more doors I can go in. Baby. Okay, so some people just lock themselves in, and that's what we're hearing. It'll take me two picks to get in there. I have five picks left. I guess I won't do that. Oh, oh the rat! Yeah, that's gotta be a movie. Okay. Okay, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna move on now. I think that was successful. Frandabot, hello! I got a key for that door. I did, I did, I did. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, oh wait, the rat. Careful, careful. You just about saved my life. I, I mean, I, I did. Boop. Oh. Huh. Would there have been an easier way to deal with all of this if I'd come in here first? That door's been pulled off of what the Why is that just a loose door here? One pick. Oh my Are you okay? Dead body <gasps> They took Zyme. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm gonna use my one pick. This is just another empty closet. Ugh. Oh, that was not worth it. Oh, it was worth it! Biocell! Okay, um... I gotta report these dead people. That's a- that's an issue. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I remember that it was I'm um, that we just read about. And, and that we've had the a vial of it for a while now. I'm gonna wait here till things settle down. I'm trying to catch my breath. Okay, okay. Can I tell you? There's I dead think people. That's all of them. You got the guys upstairs? Yeah. You can have your hotel back. The hotel. Good. Now we just have to kick these punks out of Manhattan. My brother Paul's heading up the operation. The NSF won't have New York for long. Can I tell him about the bodies? I should probably go find her. Oh, I don't know. Okay, uh... No. Who do I tell about these bodies? Uh, Annie says, what do bio cells do? Uh, so they will... 
replenish my magicka so that I can I can cast more uh, cyber spells. Uh, that that was a surprise for sure. Make sure there's nothing here I want. There's so many rats in this hotel. It must be very hospitable to you little guys, huh? Okay. Uh. Oh, loading. Any stuff? Oh, oh no, I'm back in. Oops. Wait. Okay. There were a couple of NSF on the second floor. I took care of the situation. What about the hostages? Doing fine. You guys can relax. Guess we didn't need that specialist after all. I'm the specialist! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna save. We'll take it from here. Well, now we have to go warehouse. Although we should tell Sandra that she can go home. Which I will do right now before we go on to the next thing. Palmy says those are very fancy doors. They're very fancy for a hotel stuffed full of rats and dead bodies, for sure. Okay, in we go. Sandra. Hello, this is Sandra. Mind your own business. Okay, well, I can't tell her that. Did my best. Okay. Well. Bye, everyone. Have a nice time. Oh, oh. why does it do this? Okay, this time I'm pointing the right way. Okay. Do a little savoroo. I have to get into the warehouse now. Oh, there was a way on the roof. Hang on, hang on. We can go further up. Let's put these boxes to good use. Ooh. Look at this! The coast is clear, everybody. Uh, huh. Am I stuck here for the rest of my life? No, okay, there's, there's steps, there's steps. All right, that's the warehouse, right? No, that's the free clinic. What's the warehouse that has the generator in it? I can go down here. Could I have gotten to the hotel this way? See anything? What is the point of this? It doesn't like go anywhere. Down we go. Oh, I was really excited about this, but it's nothing. Tyrannus says that something I love about the level design in this game, as you're working your way through a place, you always go, I could have also gotten that way at least twice. Is there a way in on the roof? I Because I don't see anything. I went up there, I was so excited. I was like, this must have been another entrance, but nothing. Okay. Whew. Back down. Look at this expert ladder work. Alright, this is the free clinic. It's the warehouse that has a generator in it. 
Which my password is righteous. I mean, we'll take it from here. No, 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 no. Are you a warehouse? Imports? That that sounds pretty warehousey to me. And like, look at look at all. Oh, oh! <gasps> well, hello. Smash that. Oh. I'm gonna smash that. Oh, data cube! Commander Phrase, Unatko has regrouped more quickly than expected and is beginning a coordinated assault on our position along with local police. They will certainly overrun our defenses eventually, but they must be delayed until the next phase of the mission can be completed. Your men will be responsible for guarding the tunnels leading to the Generation Station. Dig in and arm all available automatic defenses. I don't need to tell you it's at stake. Good luck, JL. Okay, okay, okay. This is all very exciting. Okay, I I'm gonna smash my way in there. D don't get me wrong, but... We don't have any reason to go in the free clinic, but it's clearly enterable. So I am going to go in. Is there gonna be a loading screen? Uh... Yes. No weapons allowed. Friendlies. Oh, maybe you can heal me up. Homeless lady, hi. I, uh, I heard a lot of shooting outside. They told me to come in here. Good, good. The riot cops are running scared. Reminds me of Washington. I was there when the NSF overran Squalnomi, back when they were called the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Were you at Squalnomi? Yeah, it was night. They came in with their mm. mop to camel and we never picked them up on any of the sensors. What a goddamn mess. I didn't know. Had a hard time sleeping after that. Didn't do real good on the psych evals either. Got drummed out in short order. The army probably didn't want to have any reminders hanging around. Hmm. Yeah, and now look what they got. NSF in downtown Manhattan. Same guys that nearly whooped us in the Northwest. Bet the brass remembers Squalnomi now. This is very interesting. Do you have one Welcome of those healer bots? Tenderloin Clinic. Tenderloin Clinic? Telephone. Awaiting authorization. He. <laughs> Please proceed to the examining room. Okay. One of the doctors can help you. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Uh. Got a few credits. Oh, you sure. Plague. Nah. Cops ran us off the streets. Usually, I go into the water tunnels in the warehouse district, but somebody boarded up the window. You live in a tunnel. Actually, I like to stay on the roof of this big apartment building. Nice view, if it's not too cold. There's a freight elevator at the end of the tunnel. Where's that window you were talking about? It's a basement window in the park south of the hotel. Uh -huh, I've seen that window. I already know about it, but thank you. Did I, I? Could I not give him some credits? One thing about the warehouse district. You've got to know which buildings are safe. Some have what armed is... guards. Okay, it's just a tree. Does anybody else want to talk if to you? If you think you have Grey Death, please pick up an information packet. Oh. You must pay the doctors in cash before treatment can begin. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, you look like the do-it-yourself type. How about the automated care plan? Only 2,000 credits. Med kits are 300. But if you want augmentation work, you need the bots. Oh, my gosh. Never mind. As you wish. Plague tests are free. Didn't this say free clinic? What a joke. Oh, that's awful. All right. Christ. You see the guy. Hey, there's probably like a data cube with some code yeah. around here, right? We accept all forms of digital cash. Please have your card ready. Did you do you have I can get in there. Please if... do not disturb the other patients. All right, all right. Ooh. Uh-oh. I want satisfaction. This looks like We've a plague room. We can. It's time for you to go. This is supposed to be a free clinic. Bet you'd do something if I had more money. You've got the plague, sir. 
You know, rich people don't get gray death. Don't make me call security. Like Mr. Billionaire Bob Page. He don't have it. The president don't have it. I never seen a movie star who's got it. You don't have it. Grave times. Drown the ceremony of innocence party in the blood-dimmed tide. Lose all conviction. Featuring Oblivion, Pretty and Twisted, Tiger Tiger, DJ v Vil, 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 The Gibson Cowboys, and Brewer's Phrase. March 17th, 100 credits. Location, Undernet. No guns, no knives, no morals, no thing, nowhere, no cops. Yes, Zyme, yes, sex, yes, dance, yes, today. Everything is permitted, nothing is free. Mm -hmm. You are not a recognized user for this device. I don't think I have a login. I want a convenient data cube. We have a little look in my in my notes. Maybe I do have a maybe I do have a login. I sort of want to get that med kit, but I don't think I can give it to these people. Also, they need ambrosia, don't they? All right, we're just waiting for my, in <laughs> my inventory to load. As we know, this is always a fraught uh, action. But if we believe, maybe it'll all be okay. Okie dokie, okay. Um, water tunnels lead to warehouse district. A freight elevator goes to the roof of a large building. <sighs> That's not what we want. No, I don't think most of this is what I need. Warehouse code 3316 is interesting. One old warehouse faces onto the park to the south. Okay, so that's actually probably the warehouse I need. But I'm still going to go and bust into this one that I can see in the basement window. Alright. I have other patients to attend to. You suck. Okay. Uh... I wish to hell they'd give us the all clear. Gold accomplishment bonus? What did I accomplish? Now, a warehouse facing the park. We've been to the park. The park is over there. Uh, if I could ask... Oh, yes! A, a small hit for the clinic, please, do, Tarana. Also, if you have any advice over whether I should go basement window first or the warehouse at the park, please let me know. Because uh, I wanna, I wanna do everything. The doctor with the guy who wants satisfaction is talkable. Oh, I'm going back. We're going back, everyone. This is a great level. Accomplished, survived, survived the clinic. I guess so. Cops are running scared. If you think you have gray death, please pick up an in I'm with a patient right now. Wait your turn. What? Uh, I guess you should be more appreciative. You should be more appreciative. By helping you, this gentleman risks his own health. But he won't give me any medicine. Yeah, he should give you medicine. Me, when there's a cure, the city will underwrite the cost. The virus threatens everyone. I don't believe you. And I won't hesitate to prescribe the treatment for you. You better not. 
Mm. Hello, Doctor. Thank you. The ones with the plague can be so stubborn sometimes. I mean, Don't mention it. they're dying. Let me express my gratitude. You can have the automated care plan for 1200 <laughs> That's a 40% discount. Or a med kit for 180 Are you kidding me? No. Never mind. Suit yourself. I find med kits all the time. I'm fine. I'm playing easy mode. E B L N R F A I P O Z T M S W F D J Q U Y K B. Do I pass the test? You, you go right up to it and then read it, right? Why is this in here? Is, was this an optician's clinic originally? Can I talk to you again? Vectors. The vectors are all wrong. No. Okay. All right. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, if anyone knows whether I should be going Play to the warehouse by the park first mail to their homes or the basement window first, please let me know. Christ. You see the, On the guy begging for a cure? My, my gut is is that we, we've heard the generators in the warehouse, so I should go to this basement first, but I don't know. It might just be two entrances to the same thing, you know? Both routes can work for you? Okay, let's do this fun window then. I want to smash a window. <laughs> Can I just smash it with my crowbar? Because I was going to like throw like a box at it, but... Oh yeah, that'll do. <laughs> oh. Even basementer. That sounds like a camera. Keeksies. Oh, we're okay? Oh, there's gonna be so much stuff for me in there. It's time to use my strong arms. Uh, F6. No room to lift. We just push it. With my strong arms. Okay, uh, F6. Well, I don't see a camera. That's unlocked. Interesting. I want to get that supply crate. Okay, I'll take you. I'll place you here. Oh, no, no, no. Here. I can't get any higher. What's over my head? The light? Oh, oh, oh. Ha! Bioelectric cell! And it's all mine! Okay. And what's this door lead to? Exploration bonus! I love the exploration bonus. I keep getting it because it's special. Okay. Flamethrower. No, uh, no, thank you. Uh. Neo says, won't kill terrorists, but pull boxes and windows. It's the truth. Tula says, quietly sneaking and throwing boxes around. Yeah, I smash my way in. I throw a bunch of boxes around. I'm yelling. <laughs> Neo says, could you burn a box? I bet you could. But I don't have room. Ooh. I don't know if I want to be here yet. There was a whole incoming transmission. Watch for lambs. I'm picking up sonic transducer activity. I'm sending you a satellite image that should help you plan your approach. Satellite image? Oh. Cool. I'm going to go the other way and go in the basement and see what I find down there. And this is, there's this. Like, I could hack my way that ways And who knows what that would be? I can still hear something that sounds like a camera, right? Oh 
more boxes. It's lasers! Oh, wow. Does the, does the warehouse lead me this way? It's the secret path from the warehouse. I think it is. You got a code for the warehouse last session. Yeah, but is this the warehouse? Uh, let me have a little look see. It's like, is it, it starts with a three? Does it start with a three? Everybody wait for the inventory, it's coming. Annie says, but, but, but it's a flamethrower. How can you not love it? I would love it if I had room, but I don't have room. I gotta carry my, my crowbar and such and so on. Uh, let's see, warehouse code, warehouse code, warehouse code, do, 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 3316. All right, if this is the warehouse, then I can use this on this um, this number. Three, three, one, six. No. Let's do it. Ah, this is always room for the flamethrower. I, I just don't think I need it. Oh, what is that? It looks cool. Augmentation. Augmentation upgrade canister. Oh, springy legs. Do we think we could get springy legs? Because that's what I want. I want springy legs. Okay, do I go upstairsies or downstairsies? Hmm. This is outside. Uh, what was the image? I need to look up this image I was sent. Hoo hoo, okay. Images. I haven't been reading any of these. Uh, microwave antenna. All good sun and impulse. So on the roof, there's antenna. What was this? Ambrosia flyer. Warning ambrosia is a non-organic compound containing eutactic components. This is what the terrorist commander looks like. We met him. Okay, yeah. So this is the only thing really relevant to us right now. I can add notes to the notes? Oh, that's cool. He, he, he. I did it. I added a note. Is it still there? Wow. Love that for us. So I can get up to the roof from here. And I think I will, rather than going below, which might lead us to the generator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Tyrannus says, augmentation upgrade canisters make orgs you already have better. The actual augmentations are in the biggest cylinders like you found at the top of the Statue of Liberty. Ooh, so I can make my arms way stronger or my eyes brighter. Um, cool. Well, I can see a lamb there. No lambs here. Grabbies. over there okay midnight sun giant rat stalks new york it's me i'm the giant rat <laughs> uh new york in recent weeks a rash of mutilated corpses oh it's not me it's not me many of them found near dog subways or sewers has garnered nothing but indifference from nypd Isolated and unremarkable in the words of one police spokesperson. While the police seem content to categorize these horrible crimes as nothing more than simple cases of homicide or suicide among the poor and indigent, eyewitness accounts tell a different and altogether more frightening story. It's a monster, innit? Says Dickie Cork, a sailor aboard the Matilda Briggs out of Sumatra. 
thing looked like a rat. It did, only it was big. About the size of a lion or something. Numerous other witnesses, all telling remarkably similar accounts of the creature, have come forward in recent weeks. But the police refuse to act, calling the description descriptions ludicrous without any further investigation but regardless of the truth the police choose to sit idly by as the killings continue and poor law-abiding citizens pay the price joe green senior staff writer why did you phonetically write out that accent uh okay let's oh this is all this is all very exciting i'm very excited by all of this so I could, like, probably get over there. And to those lambs. Ooh. Alright, this is a very tall ladder I'm climbing right now, everybody. Zan says, it's a monster, innit? Yep. In it. Oh, a microwave antenna, perhaps. Hello? Oh, a uh, down. Okay, okay. That's a lot of chimneys. Oh, there's a, there's a guy! Okay. Well, I could probably shoot that guy in the head. What does it benefit me? Can I even get down there? Someone saw me, but if I just hide here for a minute, it's very loud up here. If I just hide here for a moment, they'll forget about me. Yeah, they've forgotten about me. This has big trank dart sort of uh, energy for me. They'll never find me. Tephrax has memories of the notoriously loud waterfall in Outer Wilds. Absolutely. It's very loud. Okay. That guy's out. Now you. Cheese is our friend, everyone. Never forget. <laughs> Okay, they're out. Now there's one over here. Where are they? There is a lot of that. I'm sure there was one more. Maybe that... Maybe that's it. Okay, so... I can go down here and get the lambs and stuff. Or I can go this way. Oh, there's so many options! Uh, um, eh. I'm gonna go down for now. There we go. I got an exploration bonus! Oh, because they told me there was two sort of options of which ways I could go, right? Rooftops has people. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, I remember. Oh, there's so many doors. Ballistic armor. Should I put some on? I'm carrying two. A lot of ways that way. Oh, that looks like somebody wants to be trank dotted. Oh, you first. They'll never know. Excuse me. Anyway, that went well. 
Let's go explore these doors over here. Heads up, JC. We've got NSF troops on the rooftops. <laughs> I've noticed. Oh, this door does open. This is the lift from. Oh, look at this. Huh. What are you? Area location bonus. Oh, there was a smashy window here. Okay. Where is this? Oh. Okay. I don't recognize this. Is that the ladder I came up? I think it is. Okay, I just didn't notice that window. How interesting! Hang on, there's someone I can trank dot and then crouch. It's my duty. Oh! I'm back! I'm back! He'll be back. There he is, and then he stop. Oh, got him. like a ghost. <gasps> How do I get across to the building? If I go down, I can come back up over there with the lamp side, right? says darts are dangerous you could hit him in the eye hmm Tron says fun fact the crosshead doesn't change shape when you're outside of your weapons effective range but it doesn't necessarily mean you can't hit them it appears that I can still hit them yeah for sure God. ow ouchie okay I don't want to fall there I wasn't would I? Mayhaps? I think that I could. Oh! Hee hee hee! That looks smashable. I feel like I'm a little in the weeds right now. Like, I don't... I don't know specifically where I... Like, I, I need to get to the, 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 the things on the roof. I need to get to the generator. But I'm having a great old time. That takes me up. That also takes me up. But I'm gonna go this way and smash this, I think. Oh, there's like a... How am I gonna... S oh, I can smash it from a distance. Can I make the jump? <laughs> I got something. No. Everywhere is just stuff full of garbage. They they obviously don't have garbage collection. Getting so many exploration bonuses. I feel so rewarded. Okay. 
Oh, hello, bioelectric cell. I'm gonna need you soon. Oh, what's... What do we have here? Another smashy window. <gasps> More bioelectric cells? Oh, I think I'm, I'm about to run out. I know, I know for sure that I want to go that way. Love smashing stuff. Oh, it's the end of the stream. Okay. Well. We're going to save. And this is going to be great fun to come back to. Tephrax is a smashing finale. Yep, yep, yep. Zans is what a smashing end it was too. Ah. <laughs> uh. What a great game. I wonder if the menu will ever load. Oh, did I hit the wrong one? I didn't hit the wrong one. Save game. Having a smashing time. Safe. What a game. I'm definitely still playing this next week. Uh, as long as you're all happy to come along with me. I, I am having an absolute blast. Uh, yeah, thank you all so much for being here. I am I I continue to love this. I can't wait to continue it. Uh I really appreciate your company. I wish you a lovely weekend and hopefully I will see some of you again soon. Goodbye everyone. <laughs>